is a poem called How Could You Not? How could you not be inspired by the words I hurl at you? How could you not be mesmerized by the sky that is blue? How could you not want to see? How could you not want to be free? How could you not want to love fully and completely? How could you not want to race to collide? How could you not want to bridge the mind and heart's divide? How could you not want pain to subside? How could you not want to know what comes after the dot, dot, dot? How could you not want to dance into the night? Let your heart be led by its own inner light. It's a beautiful sight, rarely seen by my eyes. People who truly want to live their lives. Fear, shame, mindless blockage of belief keep us from seeing what lies underneath. How could you not want to hold and love? How could you not believe in a powerful force above? Are your demons beginning to push and shove? How could you not want to question? When everything in our reality is subject to our perception, do you fear rejection? We as a society have become fluent in the words can't, won't, no, and shouldn't. Imprudent it may be, but I'm seeing the lie. People shying away from life out of fear that they will die. Trust is deadly. Pondering makes us distraught. Everyone says, who cares? But how can you not? How could you not want to be in the trees? Connect with someone through more than the birds and the bees. Don't care you're your suffering overseas. Stop losing yourself trying to please. Is your resistance to hurt causing your heart to freeze? In a world seeking connection, how could we not? Let a hurt become our projection and leave good people distraught. Everyone's nice, but also a player, and if you're not okay with that, then you're the naysayer. We screw around to hide the shame, our sense of self-worth broken from pain. In a world seeking connection, we break every chance, if only we could accept our humanness and ask each other to dance. Now I'm the crazy one. I've been labeled flirt, clingy, and asshole. But what you call me is just a reflection of you if you want keep living a life that is dull but I don't think that's what you want. I think your soul is searching for more. We're telling ourselves we're fine when really we want something to die for. So when you ask me, how can you? I'm going to tell you what I've been taught. No matter what, life will be beautiful suffering. So how can you not? That was a poem I wrote a couple of months ago. I think I was sitting in Idaho in Sandpoint and it's a concept that I've wanted to talk about for a while because as I've grown up differently I've noticed that a lot of it's been the most surprising thing for me is how much people are afraid and I myself have been afraid at points I've definitely been talked into the game of hiding how you feel being someone you're not because you want to fit in or you want to not be rejected it's just our core programming our survival instinct to do so but if you think about life as like the odds of living, how can you not want to live fully? And so the only thing keeping us from doing that is our programming. We are born into this world and our brain needs hardware and software to grasp reality and to make sure we stay safe because the number one thing we're not supposed to do is die. So <laughs> our programming tells us first, you know, like obvious things back, uh, way back it would tell us you know if you sense danger if there's a mountain lion you're supposed to run but now it's telling us these ridiculous lies like don't share how you feel because vulnerability means that you might be rejected and rejection equals death so don't do that or and we end up getting stuck in all these cycles of hiding who we really are and not doing what we want because we're afraid of dying and it's unconscious it's not like we actively think all the time I'm avoiding death it's so subconscious because it's our survival instinct. So now we live in a world where everyone is so sadly and in so much pain avoiding living the life they wanna live because they are afraid of dying. And so they're never truly living. So how do you start living the life that you want to live where everyone asks you, how can you? And you instead think to yourself, how could you not? you overcome your programming. And you can do this many ways. The ways I've done it in the past are through personality typing. I've looked into the Enneagram because the Enneagram shows you your childhood wound and what it is that you exactly felt in childhood that make, is driving your life now. Uh, I've looked into my Myers-Briggs 
to see also because it's based off of programming your brain was programmed a certain way to have certain cognitive functions i look into astrology because your astrology gives you indicators into what your programming is now and how you reacted to your programming for example i have a moon in cancer and i know because i have a moon in cancer that i reacted to criticism very sensitively and I'm seeking at my most to be codependent in a way on people and instead I need to insource my power and nurture myself. There's so many ways that you can overcome your programming but you should try all the different ways and one of the ways you can do that is by joining Be The Hero, our membership where we teach you how to go from being a victim to a creator it's all about overcoming your programming. There's so much content on there that helps you overcome your programming and heal yourself so that you can create the life you wanna live and act from how could you not instead of how could you. So the link is below to join Be The Hero and find out more. I give content on there. I guide you through astrology and Enneagram and numerology all the personality typing things and how you can transcend them to understanding your personality type and then breaking free of your personality type and programming. So link is below for that. I hope you enjoyed that poem. If you enjoyed the poem, please leave a comment below and share this video with other people and have a great day.